and welcome to your Go Market Event Charts of the Day. It's the 2nd of January 2024. We trust you had a wonderful time with family and friends over the holiday period and are ready, set, go for what 2004 may bring to you. Let's have a look at what's happening across the newswires today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Of course, US markets start the year hovering around record highs. The S&P 500 remains within around about 0.5% away from joining the Dow at record highs. We're likely to see some volume return into markets after the holiday break. US futures just trading slightly above neutral in Asian trading. Asian markets are mixed in early trading. ASX is still near two-year highs, up around 0.4% today with a fairly broad-based rally with most sectors to the upside. And just stocks doing particularly well and noticeably cool. European futures are pointing to a cautiously positive open this afternoon. A US dollar index is up slightly today but remains weak near five month lows. A gold is around that key 2070 level after testing that all time high last week. A copper pulls back from its brief test of resistance at around 397 and oil pulls back towards the bottom of the short term range on the WTI contract. It does look precariously likely to test support significantly. A Bitcoin, however, is the opposite, looks quite strong. It's breached resistance at 45,000 in early trading today, although has pulled back a little bit during the Asian session, but still tackling highs not seen since early 2022. US jobs, the highlight of the week, we've got the North Farm payrolls out on Friday, of course. Uh, but as for today, we've got global PMI data, which will be looked at to make sure that the economy is still in a reasonable position. Numbers from Germany. UK and US out later today. Let's have a look at a couple of charts that caught our item. Uh, we're going to start with uh, seven group holdings. We talked about this last week. It was a chart of the day when it breached this 3540 level. It does look quite strong. We are trading towards the highs of the session. A move towards 40 looks very much on the cards now. And so, whether a short term or medium term hold, this stock looks so it has potential. If we look at the FX market, the US Swissy looks pretty strong on this hourly chart. You can see it's closing in on this 84.55 pivot level that we can see on the chart there. Strong session in Asia today and continues to move higher and is already at the highs in the previous trading day. A very clear 40 to 45 pip potential movement before we hit any resistance around about 85 cents on this pair want to keep an eye on but worthwhile being patient just to make sure we breach this high from a couple of trading days ago on this r1 pivot trade safe and see you again soon bye bye for now